But who goes off and says that they're not affected by what they see, what you know they listen to, who they hang out with is full of shit. And I'm sorry, I mean, it, right there. I mean, the fact that you know I'm swearing that's a learned behavior. You know, that's not something that again. I mean, I would have got my face smacked up by my mother when I was a kid. Yeah, and, and I have to say, um, you know, with uh, what Weem is saying here. Um, he says he has no problem with styles, but he directly defied the boss's mandate. If the boss says don't do this, and, and you know you do it, then you deserve what punishment they get. It's not like the First Amendment is being squelched. I, I fully agree. I'm not and, saying what he did was right. I'm saying, you know, sometimes it's not an intentional act that they do. You know, yes, definitely still be held responsible for it, but at the same point, recognize the fact that sometimes you get so stuck in your ways that you don't realize something's happening until after you've done it. Yeah, and uh, from what I understand, uh, after the incident, Joey Styles attempted uh, to apologize to Gabe. Uh, I have heard from different sources that it was a bit of a lame duck of a uh, an apology, but I, I can't confirm or deny that from anything I've actually read. Uh, but, I mean... I, is this what we've really come to, though? I mean, I, again, I feel you know the punishment fits the crime, but we're also in the you know a zero tolerance a society now, and I mean, it's quite possible that if someone had went off and slap you know given Joey a slap on the wrist, he may have never made that you know you know foul again. But you know, so yeah, it, 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 it's, I, I again, definitely it's, I, I don't it, think in this case that the punishment actually fit what he did. I think suspensions or you know things like that definitely yeah. was was a more appropriate way to go than completely destroying a guy's livelihood and way of way of life um, over one poorly uh, chosen sentence. Okay, guys. I mean, uh, at this point, I mean, we can probably go off and talk about this a little bit more. If you guys want to go off and find out more about this. There's actually a link on our Facebook page as well. Uh, the, uh, comments uh, made by uh, Chikara had uh, Mike Quackabush. And actually a link to uh, one of the websites that reported on the actual incident with uh, Joey Styles' um, his comments. Uh, Evolve 72, I believe it was. So again, uh, you can check that out on our Facebook page. Uh, so I think we're going to go off and we're going to go to a break here. When we come back, we're going to go off and shoot the breeze and uh, talk about, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely we'll think come of... up with some stuff. Maybe we'll even get Weem to go off and give us a topic to go off and rant about for 20 minutes or something. Yeah, absolutely. Weem, uh, come up with an idea for <laughs> us uh, during this music break and we will consider talking about it. So till then, enjoy this music. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, the Captain Fizz and Mask Guy show, and I almost forgot her name, and that's really disturbing. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 we've definitely got some great, uh, you know, topics uh, coming up. Uh, we actually came up uh, with The Walking Dead, which I think is, a, you know, kind of a, a generally a good idea to talk about, but in a little different way. Um, it's all, also been mentioned by uh, your, your wife uh, to talk about the new movie for Fantastic Beasts which we actually, I believe, did cover in last week's episode. Yes, we, we, we um, went off we talked about uh, how Fantastic Beasts looks like it's going to uh, be the precursor to the first yeah. Wizard War. Uh, and they actually announced that the fifth movie in that uh, series will actually be the Wizard War. Uh, so so that's a kind of exciting thing. And that Double Dorm has, has definitely been... Uh, will be in the second movie, and they are in the middle of trying to figure out who will play him. Yes, uh, so you, those are definitely exciting things for that. Uh, as we said, we did you know cover that last week, which was a really awesome episode. 
Um, but what I would like to cover uh, generally, not just you know Walking Dead, but the difference of TV violence and you know how it affects people as opposed to now, as, you know, to before. Um, growing up, we got we used to cartoon violence, which generally wasn't that bad of a thing. You know, it was you know you'd see them hitting each other or you know things like that, but it, comical <coughs> noises and things going with it. Um, and I go back now um, to the very first episode of uh, season seven for The Walking Dead, where you actually legitimately see uh, Negan, which is the new bad guy, uh, bash someone's head in with a baseball bat. And it's a very, very graphic, um, you know, scene. And with me, like, I, I, you know, as everyone knows, I'm a huge horror movie fanatic. But this got to me in ways that I can't explain. I actually felt almost sick to the stomach. Uh, it, it was a lot to take in, and I, I wasn't quite sure if, you know, they should have gone as far as they did or maybe kind of dulled it down a little bit just for the benefit of their fans. Um, I'm not sure if you feel the same way, especially with TV gore. I, I'm not as big into uh, stuff like that as I've stated on uh, several episodes over the years, or over not over the years, but over the the last year and a half that we've been doing this. I've actually only seen the first season of The Walking Dead, and that I believe I haven't actually watched it since. Oh, if I had to guess, that would be 2011, 2012. So I haven't seen anything well, well, I'm more not, than occasional clips since then. I'm not saying just Walking Dead, but like but all things in general. Um, if there, you there definitely is, you've been a change. I mean, again, you you brought up cartoon, you know, violence, and you know, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, the old Looney Tune cartoons were probably some of the most violent programs on TV. Just the amount of violent acts on there would, you know, cause some people to just faint, you know, you know, as they actually knew how the numbers on there, but you didn't see, you know, you know, much blood in there. I mean, there were everything was kind of silly. If you fast forward to like even nineteen eighty nine and the Simpsons cartoons where I mean you had itchy, you know, and, scratchy. itchy and scratchy going off and you know killing each other and blood squirting everywhere. I mean, and it seems like it was kind of We've been kind of, you know, been led down this road for the last, you know, 20, you know, some odd years uh, since then, you know, you know, to gradually go down there, you know, we, I, I suppose uh, some Christians might say we, we've started walking down uh, the, the easy path See, of least resistance. And so we've kind of been led there. This isn't something that just happened overnight. This is something that's been progressing at least since the mid nineteen eighties. Yeah, and like I completely agree. Like, um, I I actually don't mind the old time comic book or sorry, cartoon violence, just because it wasn't so much of a violence thing. It was it was a more as a comical, funny way, you know, a way to kind of make you laugh. Today's day, especially with Walking Dead, and I watch it uh, on a religious basis. I r rarely miss an episode. Um. But uh, to to see that scene and, and kind of imagine it in a real life situation is almost horrifying, because you know you look in the news, you look at all these things, things like that have actually happened. Mm -hmm. So to see it on TV and and especially in a TV show where everybody's watching, I really almost felt like I wanted to puke. Uh, I had to turn it off halfway through because I just couldn't handle going forward without taking that breather and i think that's the point where you realize that it's gone too far yeah there's been a couple of occasions where i felt that way uh there was uh oh i can't remember criminal minds uh there is one episode in particular that it actually turned me off of the show and it's an episode where uh a man goes off and Ties woman's hands behind her back and then forcibly dislocates her shoulders by pulling up on the rope until her you know shoulders literally pop out of the joint, and that kind of that troubled me so much that I I haven't went back to watch the series since then, and so I mean but with I mean with this show, I mean The Walking Dead is absolutely violent. I've been reading a lot of the criticisms about it. 
and a lot of people, the fact that there, you know, I, there isn't even, you know, a little bit of humor in this to try to go off and to lighten, you know, the, the dark material has went off and has bothered people. But, I mean, this is, an, sadly, this has become the norm. Now, mind you, uh, AMC is not, you know, quote, unquote, a, you know, network show, you know. I mean, it's not like, you know, the net, the big <laughs> networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, blah, 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 too much coffee. But, I mean, for a show like this to, to have been able to, even been able to exist, you know, outside of HBO, uh, you know, 10 years ago would have been unheard of. And to go off and, you know, to see just how far, you know, you know the level of violence has progressed. You know, even on a show like this, is astronomical. I mean, especially compared to several other comic book based, uh, you know, TV shows which are on, you know, more you know network, you know, cable well, network. De you know. Definitely, I, I as uh, I've been watching uh, The Walking Dead since season one, so now seven years. Seven. It's a years. long, long time. And I went back recently. I restarted uh, watching from season season one and. It's almost um, amazing where you see this kind of the blood and guts from the beginning is really low, you know, kind of more as a feel more than anything. Mm -hmm. And then when you kind of progress into the third, you know, season, a little bit more into the fourth, it starts to pick up more. You start to see, you know, a lot more intense zombies, you know, stuff like that, more of a gore factor. And then you see more heartstrings pulled. You know, they, they take storylines that, you know, don't normally exist and they make you actually believe that you, you're you living through it, that you, you actually witness stuff like this. And that's what I find, you know, really hard about TV, about movies nowadays, is it's not just so much that they're telling a story or making up a story, is they want you to believe that you could be in a situation like that. Right. And I think that's where the intenseness gets too much. You know, making people feel like that they've been there, like they've seen this stuff and, and things like that. You go back to uh, the Saw series. Uh, that was another one that really kind of struck home to me because at that time there were things in the news where people were being kidnapped and tortured and, you know, and, and, and things like this. So it really kind of hit home that this wasn't just a movie. This is something that could have been true. And oh, absolutely! It takes it to a different level. I mean, and that—that that is something that the horror genre, or the suspense thriller genre, uh, if we want to go off and kind of widen it, has went off and has frequently done. I mean, a lot of the a lot of shows that I mean, Law and Order went off and took a lot of the cases that they did on the show and based them off of real life cases that you know happened on you know in the you know in the real world. And, I mean, and so, I mean, it, there's no surprise that, you know, a lot of people are taking it, uh, you know, taking stuff in, you know, after reality and going off and using it. Because, let's face it, I mean, as much as we all want to go off and we want to live in, if, you know, watch shows like this to try to get away from reality and everything, if we go off and we go, if we were to go off and go too far away from reality... It kind of goes off and insults the intelligence of some people, and I mean, and as a fan, as a guy who has dabbled in fantasy writing, it didn't matter how crazy some of the stuff that you know fantasy writers had to write, as as long as you went off and made people think that there was some reality to this and it could actually happen, it didn't matter what kind of craziness you tried to pull. And so this is kind of you know the same here. What we're seeing is you know <laughs> people are going off and. Because we have heard so many things. You know, people go off and take a snippet there, and then they go off and they put in the show, and they're like, like oh my god, that, that just reminds me of such and such. And, you know, that makes this feel even more real to us. And it kind of, you know, shows where our society has went from. I mean, uh, and I'll try not to go too religious on y'all uh, here, but, I mean... You didn't hear when, you know, back during the 1980s, you know, they you know, went off and took uh, prayer out of, of schools. And whether it's a coincidence or not, the amount of violence that has occurred in schools has increased 
a lot since that point. Now, does that have to do with religion? Quite possibly.